Got a quick tip for you today. If we're halving a number and all the digits are even, that's fairly straightforward, right? We can just halve the digits one at a time. So to halve 46, we just halve four to give two and halve six to give three. So half of 46 is 23. As long as we can halve two, four, six and eight, we can halve every double digit with two even numbers. But suppose the first digit is odd, like 34 gets a little trickier. Well, what we can do is look at the first digit and halve the next digit down. So instead of halving three, we'll halve two, which is one. Then we'll give a one to the four to make 14, and we'll halve that to give seven. So half of 34 is 17. Let's see that again. If we've got to halve 56, we'll halve the number below five, which is four, Half of four is two, and we'll give a one to the six to make 16. Then half of 16 is eight. So half of 56 is 28. This is really similar to the process of regrouping, or you might know it as borrowing in subtraction. We're essentially taking a 10 from our first digit and giving it to our second digit so that we get to halve two even numbers. Then as long as we can halve all the evens up to 18, this technique could be a bit easier to do mentally. Even for bigger numbers like 150, we can halve 14 instead of 15, which is 7, then we'll give the 1 to the 8 to make 18, half of 18 is 9. So half of 158 is 79. Hit the heart to let me know if you enjoyed this little tip and comment how odd if you want to see how we can tackle the odds.